What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. And today I'm going to be talking about some of the features that are in my amp of choice, the Fender Rumble Stage 800 bass amp. Um, I haven't seen many videos talking about all the things that this bass amp can do. So I'm going to try to break it down video by video for all the things that I use it for and some of the features that uh, make this amp really, really cool for the money. Uh, so the first thing that I'll tell you about is the amp itself is Bluetooth. So you can actually play your music Bluetooth linked to the amp and the music will come out and you can play along to it. That's really cool for practicing and stuff like that. Uh, there's an aux in, there's a headphone jack, normal uh, jack ports, the eighth inch, just regular plug-in, don't need a quarter inch adapter or anything like that. Um, it has a lot of presets and for the little demonstration that I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to actually implement one of the uh, user slots. So there's a hundred um, presets that come with this app and you can download more from the Fender app that comes on your phone. That's another little feature. And then there's a hundred user presets where you can mix and match and create your own sound. You do your own thing with your own app which is also really, really cool. So I'm gonna be using a random user preset. I think it's number 162. That's cool. Let's just go with that. And uh, we're gonna be going in and messing around with some of the uh, features that actually are there. So I'm gonna be using this uh, Fender Squire Paranormal Jazz Bass 52, right? Just something to actually just get the sound out so you can hear the difference in what, uh, what we're talking about here so let me go ahead and get into it so uh what you're looking at right now on the bottom of the screen is a uh completely naked preset this is what it looks like for pretty much all of them studio preamp and um just i just picked one and we're going to start with it there so uh from the jump you have this sound going here So you have this sound here, this is just regular signal going into uh, the amp. Okay, so let's uh, get into what this thing can do. So uh, first thing I'm gonna be messing with, all of the knobs, on the very top of the instrument work just like any other. And there are uh, five knobs here, gain, bass, middle, treble, and a master. Uh, whenever you turn one of the knobs on the head of the bass amp, it actually turns on the screen. So, and then whenever you're making a change from the original, it flashes red and it gives you the opportunity to save. So this is, uh, as I'm turning down the bass knob, it uh, actually shows on the screen. Same thing with mid, same thing with treble. But what I wanted to talk about is this little ditty right here. So I go down, I select over here, and then I go, I use the knob on the other end to scroll over to base cabinets. And it says none selected right now. So as I mess with it, it'll give me different uh, speaker. Uh, options for it. So this is the one by eight. Okay. The one by ten. And it actually does change the characteristics. It's pretty cool. One by fifteen. One by ten. Two by ten. Okay. 
So as we get to this point, it's starting to get into more proprietary type cabinets, which is pretty cool that you have the option to add in all these different options just in this one base cabinet. It's pretty dope. So let's, uh, you have the one by 15 TV. That's from a base amp that I'll be getting to in a later video. 115 flip top. 118. Two by 10 redhead, another bass amp. It's more of a vintage type tone, it's kind of dope. Kind of a vintage thing. Two by 15. The two by 15 D130. Four by ten pro. The four by ten Goliath, which is one of my go tos. Fifty nine basement for some vintage tone. Four by twelve, seventy five watt. I'm assuming these are like uh, uh, tubes. Four by ten GB. Four by twelve V thirty eight by ten vintage eight by ten Neo, where I assume it's Neodymium magnets, that's pretty cool. Eight by ten pro, and that is the last cabinet that's on there so i'll give it a quick run through all the way back from the very beginning don't say anything about it and then just switch through so you can hear them all and how they characteristically change so let's go back through those again Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that's it. That's all of the speaker combinations for a regular studio preamp. Now, granted, there are different amp modelings of these uh, preamps. So you can literally use all those speakers in any combination with any of the preamps that's going to be in the next video. Thank y'all for watching. Hopefully this was informative. And uh, there will be more videos like this talking about my basin and um, why well, I think it's so cool. So y'all stay tuned for that. Till next time, this is Alan Brown, aka Bullet Kid. Y'all be easy.